Hi, my name is Jens Kühner and I want to present you my rich media extension library for the .NET Micro Framework. First, I will tell you why I have created this project. For creating a graphical user interface, the .NET Micro Framework provides a set of Windows presentation-like controls. The standard VPF elements are of the .NET Micro Framework are a great fundament and extendable, but very rudimentary and not ready to use. It is a lot of work to build a nice user interface again and again with each project. This is against the idea of the .NET Micro Framework that provides features out of the box with its rich base class library and where rapid prototyping and a faster time to market are main ideas. And now we come to that what I have created. I have created a rich media extension library with my own set of complete BPF elements and controls for the micro framework. All elements are based on the existing UE element class. But my VPF controls are more complete than existing VPF controls, ready to use, more aligned with desktop VPF, usable with buttons and or finger friendly touchable. Many standard controls and new ones and fully teamable. What are the benefits for the developer? By providing cool and modern teams out of the box, an embedded developer needs not to care about art design and skinning. Custom teams for corporate branding are also possible. The controls are usable via buttons and or touch display. When using a touch display, controls are usable without the need of a stylus, but with your fingers. Faster time to market and reduced development costs because of a complete set of ready-to-use elements. Transfer your existing VPF knowledge from PC and web to small embedded devices. A further benefit is the underlying .NET Micro Framework with all its advantages. And now I want to present you all this in practice. As soon as you touch the display, the application switch to touch mode. In touch mode the focus indication disappears. As soon as you press one of the cursor keys, the navigation mode will be activated and the first element of the screen gets focused again. Here you can see finger-friendly checkboxes. friendly ready boxes combo boxes will pop up a list when pressed Here you can see a title and a list that does not fit on the screen and has a scroll bar the RME also have a progress bar, a normal progress bar and an indeterminate progress bar. I also have added a slider control usable by buttons. Or by touch. And if you use it with the button, you can navigate through the text with the up and down key and left and right will select the button. Also usable by touch. When you press a text box, then an on-screen keyboard will pop up. And the shift page. with an alternate page. Also usable with buttons. When you are done, press OK. And here is a numeric keyboard. Also a Kyrillic keyboard layout. numeric spins 
custom formatting. Custom formatting also allows to use a decimal place. The main spins can contain arbitrary content. The animated image element allows you to play animations. You can play an image strip with a sequence of images that can be derived from an animated GIF. The rich media extensions provide a special per pixel alpha image with several alpha layers. This allows you to specify different alpha values per pixel and results in anti-alias borders as you can see with the following images. This is scale 9 brush. That brush accepts an image divided into 9 patches. Each section will be scaled differently. A grid box is a two dimensional list box. It can hold a list of arbitrary items that will be arranged in a grid. Very useful to implement a nice home menu. This list box demonstrates the various flavors of, of list box items. You can see an example of two group boxes. Of course, the library provides a tab control. In this case, a picture of my two sons. You can scroll through the image with the buttons or by dragging on the screen. The scroll view can also be used to implement complex dialogues that do not fit onto the screen. This sample gives you some ideas of modal dialogues. With a title. And the bottom aligned. And now I will you show how you can switch the team at runtime. Now a completely new team. How to play melodies I need to show you on another device that is capable of playing tones. Commercializing the project. I will offer this tool as a third-party library for the micro framework. On my webpage there will be the possibility to download a demo version with a next screen for evaluation and hobbyist projects. For commercial usage you need to purchase a library. Together with the professional design studio Graphomix we have already created two teams. You will be able to create your own teams or buy further standard teams or let us exclusively create custom branded teams for you. Why the Micro Framework is my favorite embedded development platform. I can use my everyday development environment and I can share the code with existing .NET solutions. It has a rich base class library and it allows to touch the hardware with managed drivers. The Micro Framework allows rapid prototyping and developing debugging using the extensible emulator and further supports live debugging on devices. I noticed two small things that could make the already perfect micro framework even more perfect. It is not possible to derive custom brushes and I had to implement my own from scratch. Further, I frequently, frequently use scale 9 brushes. Having native support of drawing scale 9 images would further improve performance and memory usage.